TNTM The Show presents... Talking Nerdy. October 2023. With your hosts, Pablo Gunner. Oh, Slay J. And the Ambassador. And we are here to talk nerdy to you about the nerdy stuff that... We've been doing lately, right? Yes. Or we've we've yeah. seen... Nice. And then uh, we have the Ambassador. He picked up Spider-Man 2. Yeah, the Talk. fastest selling PlayStation exclusive when they when they came out to reach uh high sales numbers they sold more than any other game within its release day so kind of give us like a little background on so, what this one is about so basically this one takes place after the first spider-man game and then after the miles morales game and so you're able to control both characters and uh so the level up system you can improve one character here, or you can improve the other, or you can do combo moves as well. Where uh, whenever you're teaming up with them, you'll be able to do a special move or ability, or sometimes if you're swinging with them, you can actually like kind of swing off of each other's webs to be able to keep going. Uh, there's there's a lot of content to the game, and they do a lot of justice to both the characters. Um, I've been probably having more fun with Miles, but the Peter Parker stuff is still really good and solid. Uh, it had some funny jokes at the beginning of the game where basically Peter, you know, because he's Spider-Man, it gets in the way of him holding a stable job. <laughs> so he, with his degree and everything, he decides, okay. I could be a teacher. <laughs> so he's Professor Spidey now? or No, no. He tries to be Miles' school teacher. <laughs> oh, nice. So that, that was uh, pretty entertaining while it lasted. Uh, but a lot, of, a lot of good character development. And it, it's cool because a lot of people know who, who Spider-Man is out of like both Miles' group and uh, Peter's group of friends. And so they're always helping you out, regardless of which character you are. Genki is usually uh, Morales' go-to guy. And then uh, for Peter, MJ's always finding some scoops for him. I heard the suits in this were really cool. Yeah, you... you can you can get unlock certain suits. Like uh, right now, I'm doing like the American suit for. Uh, Miles Morales, where it has like the flag on there and everything. Oh, nice. That was the one that you actually have to unlock by doing uh, different uh, story, different like side quest events. Mm -hmm. And then you get the suit at the end of it. Okay. And a lot of cool concept, like uh, in the Miles Morales part of it, there's an app where pe people at his school can ask him for help. Oh, and nice. they'll go up and swire around and help them out with whatever they need to do. Like, one of them is just asking a girl to homecoming. <laughs> <laughs> and you're doing different things to try to make it work. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, it's it's a lot. The side stories are a little outlandish, but just enough where it's fun. And uh, we'll see. Like, the what they're claiming is the main villain is Craven, mm. which are, basically you get the feel that Craven's hunting down a lot of Spider-Man's villains to try to test, see how how good those villains are to decide if he wants to go after Spider-Man or not. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, the one villain that really got the raw end of it was Sandman. Why is that? Well, they because Sandman, even in the comics, he's not like full-blown villain like most of them he's not like right. dr octopus who's trying to take over the world or kill spider-man he's just trying to live his life and build to see his daughter mm -hmm. that, that's that's his motivations he's not really as much of a villain as the other villains mm -hmm. so he usually has they usually have to do something to bring him in a lot of times it's money because He's usually not good with money either. Right. So, so I've heard the graphics are really smooth in this one. What would oh, you say? Yeah, the graphics are really smooth. Uh, one thing I noticed that's kind of cool is 
Uh, with the original Spider-Man, the little bit that played of it, uh, when you're going to different parts of the city, you kind of get some load time happening. Mm-hmm. There's no load time. You just kind of can swing throughout oh, nice. New good. York. It's like the PlayStation <laughs> 5 is really showing some uh, good power here. And definitely, like, yeah, the... Yeah, overall, the PlayStation 5 on this runs it well. The only annoying part, but that's just with how PlayStation <clears throat> 5s are. Mm-hmm. When you first turn on, it sounds like a jet turning on. <laughs> but then it <laughs> nice. quiets down afterwards. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's not like the original PS4 where those things were loud. Oh, my God. <laughs> it, it's it's better than that. So, yeah, it it's definitely, uh, I would give it a strong buy, and I would, it's definitely worth getting day one. There's so much content on there, and the side quests that keep showing up are a lot of fun. Um, they even have side quests with uh, Miles' uncle. Oh, cool. Because his uh, uncle is the trying cop, to... Right? No, no, that's his... no, no, his uncle's a that's villain. A oh, yeah. <laughs> the, prowler. the Prowler. The Prowler. His uncle right, is the yeah. Prowler. Yeah, if you watch Into the Spider Verse, they kind of try to make his uncle kind of like Prowler in that, so mm-hmm. it was pretty cool. But the difference is in this one, he doesn't die like he does in Into the Spider Verse. He's just really trying to turn a new leaf, and so in his own way, he's like, "Can you help me fix the mistakes I've done? Have New York be safer, but still." Whatever you find, you can use to improve on your guys' method. So how was the symbiote suit, Spider-Man? I haven't gotten to it yet. Oh, no? It, oh, it's... my gosh. Because I, I, cause that's the thing. is, To me, I go, Miles is more fun because he has a Venom Blast. He's young. He's different. But then once you introduce the symbiote to Spider-Man... Then it just goes like, okay, now I want to be symbiote Spider-Man because he has the tendrils. I just remember Maximum Carnage where he could do like the shield that was so cool and just, you know, the tendrils and he would slam them together and stuff. And I I just feel like at that point you would want to play more as... as, And I'm sure the, the, the game probably progresses that way too where you're like, hey, Miles is cool and stuff. But then once you get this thing, like then you probably want to play more as him. You know, and then once you get used to that, then, like, you might lose your powers or whatever, get rid of the symbiote. I don't know. Because, yeah, I know there's Venom's part of this, Craven. So I wonder what storylines, too, they're so putting. Is it, like, is it Craven's last hunt? Is it, you know, like, what symbiote story are we going with? There's so, another yeah. villain in this, too. Mm-hmm. He hasn't really done anything evil yet, but he's there. Norman Osborn yeah. is uh, deeply in this story. Norman and Harry. Okay, yeah. But haven't really shown anything yet. But I kind of have a feeling Norman's going to be either set up for the next game or is going to be right. involved towards the end of this one. And it's kind of cool what they did with Norman. You could definitely tell, like, likeness, they kind of did their own thing. But I still get a lot of, like, William Dafoe vibe from him. Nice, Like, they really, like, play him kind of like William Dafoe, Mm. which I think is probably the best approach because... He's perfect. The best Norman Osborn was William Dafoe. He really, despite wearing a goofy mask in the original (laughs) movie, he was still... The star of the movie. Mm. It was the nineties one. Well, yeah, the well, know. the new one, like they they changed it so good. I love it when he's like, Norman's not home anymore, honey. He's like, <laughs> 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 like, but it worked. Like he yeah. totally pulled it off, right? But yeah, like, oh yeah, that game looks so good. I've seen so many things. I've seen so many cool suits, like the Chadwick or the the Black Panther Chadwick mm-hmm. Boseman uh, tribute suit and stuff. And even like you can go to the embassy and stuff i've seen that i've seen i don't know if this is real but i saw something and it said that there's a white power ranger yes I homage as well i don't know if that's brand new or made up or what but I'm i was like sure, that would yeah. be so cool too you can never tell what the internet's like <laughs> yeah like what but it looks so cool that you're like yeah it could be a modder or something yeah. i don't know but so yeah 
it, it just it looks so phenomenal. It looks like a great game. And uh, so what was your grade? Well, give a strong buy and the hacking is pretty crazy with like some of the hacking you have to do. You're you're actually doing haptic feedback in the triggers to to try to get it right. Nice. Because I mean, we all know where Marvel where Marvel Spider Man games on the PlayStation got the roots from Arkham. Yeah. Yeah, very much Arkham. <laughs> but I'm okay with that cuz I mean they took a good formula and made it better. Yeah, you need to get some Prima team that'll really clear that up, yeah. you know. Yeah. But <laughs> I actually saw a very funny it was, I saw this hilarious TikTok where it's somebody they're going they're singing the Spider-Man theme song, but they're doing it as Batman, just using the bat thing to swing from light pole to light pole, and they're like, "When you can't afford a PS5," <laughs> and <so, laughs> yeah, that's, that's uh, and I was like, "That's me." <laughs> 